How does the equals equals operator differ from the dot equals method? Imagine you have two different ways to check if two things are the same in Java. You have the equals equals operator and the dot equals method. They sound similar, but they're more like siblings with their own personalities. I'd like to start by explaining the primary distinction between the equals equals operator and the dot equals method. Both are used for comparison in Java, but they serve different purposes based on what we're trying to compare. First, when it comes to purpose, the equals equals operator checks reference equality. This means it evaluates whether two references point to the exact same memory address. On the other hand, the dot equals method is typically used for value equality. This method determines whether two objects have the same content, which is particularly useful when we want to know if two objects are logically the same, rather than being the exact same instance in memory. Now, regarding default behavior, by default, equals equals checks if two references are identical, meaning they point to the same object in memory. The dot equals method, which is defined in the object class, also performs reference equality by default. However, this default behavior can be overridden in custom classes to check for value equality instead, which is where dot equals becomes more powerful. When it comes to usage with primitives, the equals equals operator is generally used for comparing primitive data types like int, float, or boolean, since they do not have methods like dot equals. Since primitives are not objects, dot equals does not apply to them at all, and attempting to use it will result in an error. Usage with objects is another important area of distinction. For objects, equals equals only confirms whether two object references are identical. If you have two separate instances of an object with the same content, equals equals will still return false because they occupy different memory locations. Conversely, dot equals is designed to compare the actual content of the objects. This is particularly useful when comparing strings or custom objects where value equality is more meaningful than reference equality. In terms of common use cases, equals equals is often used for identity comparison, where you need to verify if two references are pointing to the same instance. This can be useful in scenarios like singleton pattern implementations or caching, where the exact instance matters. The dot equals method is widely used for content comparison such as when you want to compare strings for equality or check if two instances of a custom class represent the same logical entity. Regarding override capability, you cannot override the equals equals operator in Java. It is a fundamental part of the language. However, you can override the dot equals method to customize how equality is determined for your own classes. For example, you might override dot equals in a person class to consider two person objects equal if they have the same name and age even if they are different instances. To illustrate where you might choose one over the other, consider a case with strings. The equals equals operator can sometimes yield unexpected results due to string interning, which might cause two strings with the same content to return true even if they are not the same object. Therefore, for string comparison, it is almost always safer and more reliable to use dot equals, since it directly compares the content. In summary, the equals equals operator should be used when you need to check if two references are the exact same object, while dot equals should be used when you want to check if two objects have the same content. Understanding this distinction can help avoid subtle bugs, particularly when working with complex objects or string comparisons.